Well, that is a builder's perspective. We're going to get a builder's perspective, but also now an investing perspective. John Love is the former CEO of Oxford Properties. He's now the CEO of Kingset Capital, a private equity real estate investment company with several big and notable properties under its umbrella today. In fact, one of those properties receiving a zero carbon building certification. John Love joins me now for perspective. Thanks so much for being with us, John. Amber, thank you for having me. So uh, the, the location that we're talking about that got this zero carbon designation is the Fairmont Royal York. Um, I, I imagine it's a lot of work to do that, but especially in this market, we're really trying to figure out what's a tier one asset versus others. I mean, is it, is it that meaningful? This has been a five-year journey. Wow. Has three basic stages. First is you have to measure and understand in a very granular way your energy load. We used a uh, Canadian startup called Circuit Meter to do that. The second is you've got to reduce your energy load. And we, we have done that by going to deep water cooling uh, and basically uh, replacing everything else. The third is you've got to eliminate all the fossil fuels. And so this process has taken us two or three years in design, development, et cetera, two years in actual construction, $65 million, uh, 70,000 man hours. It's a super cool project. But where we end today is with the only hotel certified in North America, mm. zero carbon. So there's zero carbon from the hotel property, quite a milestone. It is a milestone, and when do you think others will follow? Well, well, we'll see. It's an ambitious program. Uh, it takes a lot of creativity, a lot of capital, and, and at the end of the day, passion to make the hotel a leading property, not just in Toronto, but in Canada. You have to expect to see a return on that capital because, of course, you're an, you're an investor. Um, and, and how do you justify that? Do you expect more people will choose? This well, hotel it, it, because of, that. of course, there is a business model. Yes, in the first yeah. instance, there's a significant saving in energy costs. Secondly, it uh, helps you hedge against any future energy increases. Um, and, and thirdly, the revenue response, we'll see. We're optimistic that conferences that come to Toronto for sustainability, climate, carbon, will look to the Royal York first. We're hopeful that businesses who've made uh, many uh, ambitions, ambitious uh, claims about their carb reducing their carbon footprints will choose the Royal York first and, uh, and as well for leisure travelers. So that's kind of the hotel environment. I want to zoom out uh, a little bit. We just showed a clip from Ed Sunshine, the founder of uh, Rio Can, your good friend who was, you know, talking about the public policy that he would need to see. You've been very vocal about and really granular stuff. You're not kind of making these umbrella statements. You have really specific things that you would like to see happen when it comes to, you know, dealing with whatever our issues are in real estate. Is anybody listening now? Like, do you find that, you know, that, that politicians, policymakers are finally taking that in? I think there's a lot of awareness on the topic. Uh, I was asked to appear before the Senate uh, just a few weeks ago to the Standing Committee on Banking, the Economy and Commerce. Um, and I outlined a four point plan uh, that I felt was needed uh, on the housing file. But every, every politician at every stripe is in full recognition that we need more supply of every kind. The challenge is, and I think the, the hardest part, is alignment. Because many great policies die in the regulations or enabling legislation. And this is where um, it, there's some heavy lifting needs to be done in it, alignment. I mean, it seems like policymakers have done almost everything except the supply piece when that seems to be the most obvious solution. I mean, we've taxed all sorts of different because, parts of that's the That's market. because that's the most difficult piece. Yeah. Because what's difficult is just giving people permission. And the industry is ready, willing, and able to act and supply. Um, and, uh, but we need to take down some of the barriers. Where are you seeing opportunities and progress on that supply side? Um, I think, well, you know, we're starting an affordable housing project uh, just next, uh, in, in the next couple of weeks in, in Valhalla. It's supported by CMHC. Uh, it was, will also be, uh, to the best of my knowledge, the first affordable housing project that's zero carbon. Oh. Uh, because, and let, let me just digress on zero carbon yeah, yeah, for a yeah, moment yeah. because I think, you know, the carbon footprint's important to us. In our office portfolio, um, we have Scotia Plaza, 100 Young. Uh, they're the only two office buildings in Toronto's core that are zero carbon. 
We had two tenants uh, come to us recently uh, because they were looking only for a zero carbon solution. Mm -hmm. And only in those two buildings could they find that. Do you notice it, like if you're a tenant in that, that there's something different about this or you? No, there, no, there's no, there's no difference in the performance yeah. of the building. But I think, you know, a great, a great building, where tenants are aggregating to are buildings with a, a, what I'll call a strategy forward process. And so that includes a great location on transit, super core, amenitized, and the whole issue of customer sensitivity and the carbon issue ESG is becoming increasingly important to our, our office customers. And that's why you see in for downtown Toronto, for example, you see the vacancy rate in the market generally is about 16%. But in the triple A buildings, mm. which include just the bank towers, Brookfield Place and ba Bay Adelaide Place, and as well as our Scotia Plaza, um, in, in those buildings, the vacancy rate is only 6.7%. Mm. And there's a reason for that. Customers want best in class. They're prepared to pay. Uh, they want to attract their employees back. But they're looking for all of those elements.